G'day. Here's a curious question. Which is larger, the fraction 5 ninths or the fraction 6 elevenths? I mean, if I share 5 pies equal amongst 9 students, yes, each of those students will get a fraction of pi, a portion of pi. Or if I share 6 pies amongst 11 students, those students will get a portion of pi. Which students get a larger portion each? Is 6 elevenths more pi per student than 5 ninths? Or is 5 ninths more pi per student than 6 elevenths? How can we tell? It's hard. It's actually hard to tell because these fractions look very, very different. So my wishful thinking brain says, well, I wish these fractions looked kind of the same. And there's only one fundamental belief that's about making fractions look kind of the same, or look different at least, equivalent fractions, namely belief number four. This tells me how to rewrite fractions in different ways. So I'm going to actually see if I can invoke belief number four to give me a means to compare those two fractions, five ninths and six elevenths. And let me take five ninths first, and I'll do six elevenths second. And it takes an inspired moment. Once you, when you first think to do this, then it clicks. But what makes you think about it takes a bit of a, a, bit of a flash of insight. I'm going to scale the number of pies up by 11 and scale the number of students up by 11. By belief number four, that changes nothing. That's the same amount of pie per student, but now I see it's really the same as 55 pies for 99 students. That seems crazy until you realize what I'm about to do to this one. I'll scale the number of pies up by nine and the number of students up by nine. Now you see what I was doing, I bet, because that says, oh, that's the same as having 54 pies to be shared amongst 99 students again. And now it's clear which student gets more pi. Sharing 55 pies amongst 99 students is certainly more pi per student than 54 pies being shared amongst the 99. So that means this fraction is actually the bigger fraction. I did that by comparing the fractions by writing the bottom numbers the same. So, here's fun for you. Could you actually do something different with these two fractions? Well, if I multiplied this one by 6, and this one by 6, and this one by 5, and this one by 5, what does that do for you? Does that give you another way to answer this question? Have a think about it.